What's going on guys? Welcome back to Whiskey Dixon. I'm Sugar Bear. Jake. We're reviewing Gouden Carolus Belgian Single Malt Whiskey. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know I how don't to say know it. if that's <laughs> how you pronounce it, but uh, Belgian Single Malt Whiskey? Yeah. I didn't know it was a thing. Nope. This is very new to me. Um, matured in first fill bourbon cask with anchor cask finish. What? I think they, <laughs> I'm, I looked it up. I think the anchor casks are ones that they actually make at the distillery. They make the casks? I think they, that's kind of what I understood. This is just all around strange. I think it's oh, a no, it says it. Hold on. Aging an anchor cask, wooden cask made by a cooper in accordance with our own specifications. You're right. So they're yeah. custom casks yeah. just for this. That's really cool. I'm pretty sure it's a wine cask because there's some or wine notes. Or a beer in there. cask, Could potentially. Be. It is Belgian. Um... <laughs> Stilled Asian bottle by Het Enka, Belgium. 46% ABV. I like that. Coloring free, non chill filtered. I like that as well. Um, I don't know a whole lot about, like, but I think when people think Belgium, think of beer. Yeah. Right? I mean, like, you don't really think whiskey, but beer, yeah. They grew all kinds of wacky beers over there. And I think that's sort of the idea here is that they just made a beer like a belgian triple yeah and just distilled it mm -hmm. and aged it in bourbon beer. which that's essentially what a whiskey is yeah, it's that's just, what malt yeah, whiskey is. malt whiskey is beer without the hops yep but man look at that color for freaking three i think it's three years old three to five years old natural color it's pretty impressive yeah that's i mean that looks like a like a solid 12 year oh for sure what's funny is belgium i don't think is like warm i mean it is I mean, first fill bourbon i mean that's gonna help and then whatever the anchor cask the is the nose is so intriguing on this it smells it's so like a beer <laughs> it's so weirdly between like bourbon cask single malt mm -hmm. and all those weird belgian yeast ester notes like mm -hmm. bubblegum citrus. citrus banana clove like oh a lot yeah of clove. there is clove yeah what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Never smelled a whiskey like this nope. in my life. But what's funny is it smells like exactly what you think it yeah. would smell. Like it smells like distilled Belgian beer. Mm -hmm. Like it totally. Ah, that's wacky. On the palate, it makes more sense. I feel like the nose is misleading a little super bit. Super misleading <laughs> because on the palate, it tastes like a really good first fill bourbon whiskey. Yep. Or not bourbon, bourbon cask aged single malt whiskey. Um, There's a heavy orange note in there. There is. No, like orange, clove, mm -hmm. um, coriander. Makes me think of a blue moon. A lot of but, weird spices. Like a lot of weird. It's so Belgian. Like it's so, if you've had Belgian beers, this will taste pretty familiar to mm -hmm. you actually. Um, it's pretty malty as well. Yeah, the finish, you still get all those weird yeast mm -hmm. notes, all the, all the esters, they call them. Um, it's almost like chewy. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah. The nose is the craziest part to me. Every time I nose, I'm like, what? Buttered popcorn? On the nose, not so yeah, much No, on the yeah, palate. that's what it is. Like that synthetic movie. Yeah. Butter. Like a bag of, like, Jiffy Pop or whatever, yeah. you know? Act two. <laughs> That's actually delightful. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's zesty. There's a weird citrus zest. Yeah. Um, like shaved yeah. orange peel. Almost juicy. It is, oh, this is such a crazy whiskey. This is nuts. This is fucking <laughs> nuts. Like, what <laughs> other whiskey tastes like this? Do they make other whiskey? Yeah, they got Are a, there other Belgian distilleries? Well, the, this one specifically, they know they have a sherry. They won a they ton have... of awards. On the back, you can see they won a lot of awards for this. This little fruit, wooden vanilla. There's way more. Their, their flavor note is are so... They're low ball. They told themselves. you like yeah. three things. There's so much more going on in this. This is a very complex, really unique whiskey. 
Because um, vanilla, you say that for any whiskey, and you're going to find it in there. What is the price point on this? So normally between 55 and 70 I would say. I'd say that's about right. I got it for much less, but normally... because you're, you're smart. Yes, it's I know what I'm doing. we know what we're doing here on uh, Whiskey <laughs> Dixon. We're a bunch of vultures. Uh, mm-hmm. Seriously. But, uh... No, I would say like 50 or 60, I would buy this. Yeah. yeah. It's hard like, to find. It's that good. It's really hard to find. So I know. I've only heard of it. I've heard yeah. of this. I've never... Even Total Wine doesn't have it. Really? Yeah. Weird. So, I mean, if you Total can find Wine it, doesn't have it, where are you going to get it? Belgium. Bel- yeah. Rayleigh's. <laughs> Belgium or Rayleigh's. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, this is great. Like, I'm actually shocked by how good this is. And really, for me, more than anything, it's how unique it is. Mm-hmm. Like, it's there's nothing I can quite compare this to. Wow, that is... Uh, what? What? It uh, really is just distilled triple. Like, it really is a distilled Belgian strong ale. I really want to know what those anchor casks are, because they really you shouldn't get this much beer influence out of it if... I mean, it's just malted barley like You can else. if they're using some weird yeast. Like, what's interesting in yeah. Scotland... They pretty much all use the same yeasts. Mm-hmm. In America, you can find like 10 different yeast strains at one distillery. Mm-hmm. They will make with the same mash bill and then they'll blend them to certain. Yeah. Like Four Roses is crazy about yeast. Like mm-hmm. they're all about using all kinds of different yeast strains just for like one or two mash bills. Um, this is a good example though of how like Belgian yeast vary so much from like monastery to monastery where they're making their beer yeah. their abbey beers um you know one one monastery will have one strain of yeast that's unique to it and they'll when they age their beers they don't add yeast to them they'll just leave them in the cellar where that yeast is floating yeah. around and it will spontaneously ferment just just from the air that's and, crazy uh, yeah no that's why that's why like in belgium they're making all their beers essentially the same way with the same ingredients, but since they all have their own unique yeast strains at all the breweries, mm-hmm. they all taste completely different. They all have all those weird, funky notes. It's the same thing we do with hops here in California. They do with yeast. In Belgium, they're they're all about the yeast, um, which I'm not, but it's cool. Like, this is cool. Mm-hmm. Um, this is really exciting. I would like to find some of their other stuff they got going on. It's even like waxy on the finish, like a yeah. like a scented candle. Like if you were like had it in your mouth, though, if that makes sense. Nice glass full of candle wax. Like instead of oily, it's like waxy. Yeah. Do you get that? Really unique whiskey. It's a little dry too. Yeah, very dry initially, mm-hmm. and then it becomes waxy once it's kind of gone. What a fun whiskey. Yeah, if you find it, yeah. buy it for yeah, sure. I really like this. If you can find it. But if you do, I would definitely, I'd buy this again. I would totally have this in my collection. No, this is really, it's super complex. And then, did we, did it say an age? It's only like. I looked it up online. It's between three and five years. I think that it, is crazy. Yeah. yeah, it actually says on the back, it's distilled from the mash of their Gouden Carolus's triple beer. Yeah. So. It is, it is a distilled Belgian triple. Mm-hmm. That's fun. Yeah. I like this a lot. Something different. Um, yeah, no, it's cool to see other countries producing like whiskey that tastes like it came from that country. You know, when you think Belgium, you think of these weird beers they yeah. make. And so this is the distilled version of that. That's really cool. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't know. I, any final thoughts? No, I actually didn't know what I was buying when I bought it. I just saw natural color, 46% single malt. I mean, That's all if I the care price about. is right <laughs> and you got all those accolades, then why not buy it and try it? And uh, we'll review it and let you know what we think. And uh, this is a winner. I, yeah. I think this no, is really sure. good. Um, well, if you like this, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, thumbs up, let us know. What else you want us to review? Let us know. Are there other, are there other Belgian whiskeys? I mean, it's the first one I've ever seen, but I, I have heard of this one. Um, I, I'm Sugar Bear. Jake. We are Whiskey Dixon, and until next time, cheers. I don't know what they say in Belgium, but keep on drinking. <laughs>